what is environment so environment is what we see in our surroundings that forms environment it is our basic life support system it provides air water food and land that is the basic needs of our life why is our environment changing our environment is changing because our needs our requirements are increasing day by day in order to fulfill these needs we often don't think about the environment and just start modifying it what are the basic components of natural environment so the basic component of natural environment are land water air plants and animals what does lithosphere provide us so lithosphere provides us forests grassland for grazing land for agriculture and human settlements it's a rich source of minerals name different types of water bodies rivers lakes seas oceans these are different type of water bodies how is atmosphere important for us so atmosphere protect us from harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun like the ultraviolet rays the immense heat which is coming what do you see in the deserts name some animals we see camels snakes lizard insects in deserts what is barter system a form of trade so barter system is a method of trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money so there is no transaction of money one good is given other good is taken distinguish between biotic and abiotic environment with examples so the world of living organism is known as biotic environment for example plants and animals and the world of non living element is known as abiotic environment for example land how is environment important for for us see environment is the lifeline it is important to us because it provides us water air food land these are the basic necessities of life write a note on lithosphere so lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth it is made up of rocks and, and minerals discovered by three layers of soil it is an irregular surface with various landforms like mountains plateaus deserts plains and valleys the lithosphere plays an important role in our life it provides us forest grassland for grazing land for agriculture human settlements so it's also a treasure of various minerals given the count of atmosphere so atmosphere is a thin layer of air that surrounds the earth it is made up of various gases like oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide dust particles and water vapor the gravitational force of earth holds the atmosphere around us and it protects us from harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun the changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate how do human beings modify natural environment so the needs of human beings are increasing day by day therefore they modify natural environment to fulfill these needs sometimes they even destroy their environment human beings they made car for their convenience these cars release fumes or gases which pollute the air like the carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide they are very carbon monoxide so they have established factories on land industrialization so these factories manufacture various items like containers this is how we modify environment and they you know secrete the water the waste water into the river that is harmful for us give an account of various domains of environment so there are various domains of environment lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere biosphere so lithosphere which is a solid crust of hard top uh, top layer of the earth it is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by thin layer of soil it provides us forest grassland and land it is a source of mineral wealth when we talk about atmosphere it's a thin layer of air that surrounds the earth the gravitational force of earth holds the atmosphere around it it protects us from harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun it gives us or it consists of gases dust water vapor then uh, the th the referring to various water bodies that is hydrosphere like rivers lakes seas and oceans that exist on the earth biosphere biosphere or you can say living world is comprised of plant and animal kingdom it is a narrow zone of the earth where land water air interact with each other to support life how have human beings adapted to the environment to fulfill their needs 
So human beings from the early times have been interacting with the environment and modifying it according to their needs. Early humans adapted themselves to the natural surroundings. They led a simple life, fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them. But the needs, it's always, the graph is always, you know, up. That is increasing. And they became varied also. To fulfill their varied needs, humans learned to grow crops, tame or domesticate animals and begin to live a settled life. The wheel was invented, surplus food was produced, barter system emerged and trade started and commerce developed. Industrial revolution made possible large scale production and by and by transportation became faster. Information revolution made communication easier and speedy across the world. And in this way, human beings adapted to the environment in order to fulfill their needs.